Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Olvain Ace and I am super happy to be back here today. I've been traveling for the past uh, two, three, four, probably a month. I don't even know. But I have been away from, you know, my home for a very long time and I'm super happy to be back. And it is so good to see everyone again and be back to our uploading schedule and uh, releasing the content that the Holy Spirit puts on my heart. Now today I've got a very exciting word that I want to share with you. Something that I have personally been praying for for many years and I believe we're, we're at the beginning of, of you know seeing that coming to fulfillment, the breaking of the mold of the religious system of what church used to be, uh, the whole mold of what church used to be, the breaking forth of that new wine and that new oil that Jesus is pouring out upon his people in this time. So last night I was actually at a service and it was a very good service. But as I was sitting there listening to the preacher, I went into a vision where it was so overwhelming that I could barely focus on what he was saying, what was going on around me. And I saw this vision of uh, an oil jar, like an alabaster jar, being poured out upon God's people, being poured out upon those who are diligently seeking the Lord Jesus Christ, who are sitting at his feet at a daily basis, keeping their lamps full of oil. And I saw this vision of how God is, is, is pouring out the new wine and the new oil upon those who have poured out their precious resources and oil upon the feet of Jesus. So I saw that vision, how they were pouring out their oil and washing the feet of Jesus. And in turn, Jesus was pouring out the new wine and the new oil, anointing their heads, the oil just covering them and flowing over them. And this signifies the new anointing that God is releasing right now over his people. But this is also, it's, it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone that's just going to receive this. It's for those who have humbled themselves, who has lowered themselves and spent time in the quiet place and, uh, you know, pouring out over the feet of Jesus. And I saw this, this new oil that's going to be released, this new fragrance that's going to be released in the church. Now, when I say the church, I do not mean the physical building. I'm talking about the ecclesia. I'm talking about the people of God, the church, us, me and you. We are the church of God. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit and how it's being poured out upon those who have diligently been seeking the Lord. Because, man, I mean, everyone can agree with this, that we need uh, a new anointing. We need new oil. We need the new wine that we can't... Uh, just continue having church as usual. And this is available for those who are crying out to the Lord, saying, Lord, I need a change. I, I, I go to church and I, I love what they're preaching. I love the messages, but something is missing. There is something more. And I believe that people are watching this video right now. And you, you might be one of those who have gone from church service to church service and you, you go to church, you go on Sundays, but something is missing. Like you've been attending different churches even, been church hopping around, but you just can't find what your soul is yearning for because God has put a desire in your heart that that spirit and power of Elijah that is seeking out the new thing that he is doing. And the old just won't do. You're sitting in those sermons and it feels like, feels like dry bones. You, you want the new oil. You want the new wine because your soul is yearning. Your soul is calling out for it. And I want to share a scripture with you. It's in Matthew 9 verses 16 to 17. And it says, No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch pulls away from the garment and the tear is made worse. Nor do they put new wine into old wineskins, or else the wineskins break, the wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But they put new wine into new wineskins, and both are preserved. 
Now, guys, we need the new wine. We need the new oil, the new anointing in this time, in this, in this moment that we are right now, in this church age. God is seeking those who are diligently seeking him, who are desiring for this new thing, who, who, aren't, who won't be satisfied with church as usual. Not that there's anything wrong with church, hear my heart, but God has placed a desire within you to birth this new thing. He's calling forth the pioneers, the, the forerunners, the guys that, that are at the tip of the spear, breaking through the bonds of religion and a normal church just won't do that they are seeking this new wine and this new oil. And I believe God is pouring out this anointing upon those who have poured out everything that they have. They have emptied themselves before the feet of Jesus and thrown it over his feet and washed his feet with everything that they have. And God is about to fill you afresh, not with old wine and old oil, because as the scripture tells us that we do not fill a new wineskin with old wine because it's going to burst. It's, it's, it's dry and it's, it's, it's cracking on the outside. And if you pour new wine into those wineskins, they will burst. They're just not made for it. So I believe God is calling those the hungry ones, the ones that are, that are seeking after his heart for this new wine. And you've been crying out for this for a very long time, that you want to see change in the church today, that the historical church model and, and what has been going on there just won't do. Just won't do. Because as I said in previous words, God is building his church in the wilderness. He's building his church outside the church. And I believe God is, is awakening those. He's awakening those slumberers. He's awakening those people. And he's about to pour out that, that precious new wine and oil upon them, those that seek it. I want to pray for you if this word is resonating with you. But first, share this with someone that needs to hear this. And also make sure that you are subscribed. We're going to continue our daily prophetic words. We're going to get back into that because God has just been downloading so much revelation for me while I was traveling. And um, I'm going to release it on this channel. So make sure that you are subscribed and give this video also a thumbs up. Um, and if you don't like it, just give it a double thumbs up, please. That would be much appreciated. And um, let me pray for you before we go. So, Father, I thank you for these people listening, for these uh, new wine bearers, new oil carriers, Father. Lord, bless them, Father, and pour out your precious oil upon them. Lord, let them be the change that they are seeking in the church, Father. That normal churchianity just won't do anymore. Father, I pray that you anoint them powerfully. Release this new anointing, this new oil over them, Father, and bless them abundantly, Father, for your kingdom's sake. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray this. Amen. And I'll see you in a few days' time then for another video.